Hello, change of plan. I was going to see David Stanley today, but I'm going on Monday now, so as I can get on with my plane making. I've uh, fitted the sole together, well, I'll show you in a minute. I've placed the body on top, lined up with a quarter inch mark at the back, so I know where the m mouth is right, and then very carefully, I sharpen this always for this job. I just mark the dovetails. I've actually done it a few seconds ago. Okay. You can't. Well, I'm working to precision. If you can't see in that, I've got an edge. Right. And I mark this side the same, which I've just done. Because because I do it freehand like this, it can move. I didn't want it to move while on camera. Anyway, so I've marked it now. I take that off and Sarah can just show you the dovetails. Very lightly. There's only one I can't see, and that's this one. I'll do that one in a moment when it's out. So what I do now is I take it out and put my uh, bevel on here and scratch them again so as I can see them. Perhaps you can see them as the light catches them. They're all there by that one. I can't see that one. Oh, and I wanted to show you That almost goes to a feather edge, like I said, but not quite. Because depending how thick that bit is, is how far the iron travels to the front of the mouth. So if it's too thick, you've got to open the mouth up. But you don't want it to go to a feather edge. I can always take a little bit more off that if I want. And then you see I've got a little right angle there, which is the mouth, the front of the mouth and a bevel back a sixteenth of an inch towards the mouth. Um, I always take that little corner off there. This is pretty important to take that corner off because when you are peening in place if you get a slight bit of movement left or right, which you don't want, but sometimes it's unavoidable, those little points I've just told you are knocked off. So you've got a little tiny bit of play either side. But you want to get it dead lined up if possible. But there you are. And when I did that, like I started to explain, when I come to do the shoulders and the tongues, I always work to the top of this. I mean, you've got to line that up really, really accurate before you start, and then I rub it on there, same the other side, but one side at a time, and then um, without moving it, after you've sawn it out, I file it in place. Again, rubbing on here. This this bit's doing the cutting, so I sacrifice. I've 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 used this file all my life, so it's lasted well. Just to go up to the tongue. So that's how I do that. 